Arpit from Connecticut is asking, what are the key steps involved in migrating VMware workloads to Azure? Wow, that's really a deep question. I'll do my best to really simplify it. Definitely the first step will be an assessment of the VMs we have today running on your on-premises VMware environment. We encourage customers to work with Microsoft representative or one of our partners, such as Connection, to kick off an assessment. The assessment will yield key factors for the migration, such as the number of the hardware host you need in Azure and other important information, such as understanding the dependency mapping between your workloads and VMs. That will eventually help you build your migration strategy in structuring your and grouping your VMs that you want to migrate. Then you will need to determine a few things in Azure, like which Azure region you want to deploy, the IP address block that you use for AVS management components. And if you are new to Azure, you probably start, need to start building and deploying your landing zone that you will use to host your AVS environment. Also, you need to make sure you have some sort of connectivity to Azure, such as Azure Express Route or even simple VPN. Then you need to determine the IP strategy for your VMs that you're planning to migrate. For example, you need to determine if you want to re-IP the VMs or maintain the same IPs. And then determine which migration profile, like bulk, cold, or vMotion, to select when using VMware at CX, which is the default migration tool we offer to move VMs from on-premises to AVS. So, so you can start migrating your workloads in waves. Once you migrate, you can perform last configurations such as configuring load balancers and DNS and others. And the final step would be performing end-to-end -end testing for your applications and workloads to make sure everything is working properly. Keep in mind, this is maybe the, your last step in the migration, but this is technically your first step to start your modernization. Now you can connect your workloads running on AVS with plethora of Azure services so you can begin your migration journey.